Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, have you ever considered how powerful knowledge can be? While I speak to you today, 40 children will die by entirely preventable causes. By sunset, 14,000 more. Yes, 14,000. What if the power to change this wasn't in a pill or in a program, but in empowering mothers with knowledge? Knowledge on health, knowledge on rights, knowledge on choices? This isn't just a fight against disease and hunger and poverty. It's a fight to bridge a massive knowledge gap. Imagine the silent billion. While we access information 24-7, these women are still kept from even the most basic knowledge by illiteracy, by lack of education, by language barriers. They are not just figures in the background. They are the foundation of gender equality because there is no gender equality if we leave them behind. Now imagine a solution, not just any solution, a disruptive, scalable, digital solution tailored to empower these women with accessible knowledge, audio knowledge, delivered in a voice they recognize, in a language, a native language they speak. You have all turned to Wikipedia for answers, right? Now imagine a platform with a similar potential, but designed for the needs of the silent billion. Et voilà, meet Audiopedia, our speedway to gender equality. Imagine all your lessons, not just translated, but crafted hand in hand with the very communities we aim to serve. Since 2016, we have been listening, learning, and co-creating audio content for the silent billion. Audiopedia isn't just a platform. It's a shared vision turned into a battle cry, free knowledge from literacy. Thanks to allies like the European Union and the German government, we have already witnessed the enormous transformative power of Audiopedia. And it's not only about the contents. It's a revolution in the making because all our tools are open, free, and globally relevant. But are we at the peak of our potential? Far from it. The best is yet to come. Well, if we make it happen. So dare to dream with me just for a moment. Imagine a woman in a remote village. She's gathering her kids for a meal provided by, let's say, the World Food Program. On the rice bag, there's a QR code, not just any code, a key unlocking vital audio knowledge for her. And while her children are enjoying every bite, she's listening attentively. And in that moment, knowledge is coming together with the food. Food is becoming so much more. It's changing lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the ripple has begun. And you, each and every one of you, you have now the power to amplify it, to turn this ripple into an unstoppable current of change. We've got seven years left. We owe the silent billion action, not just words. And we owe them now. So I challenge you all. Let's bring this vision to life. Let's build a world where empowerment is the very air we breathe. And let's shape a future where knowledge is no longer a privilege for only the few of us who can read and write, but a fundamental human right for all. Thank you.